Okay, guys, we are about to talk about the most active stocks on the market. These stocks are high volume. These stocks are highly volatile. Some of them are looking better than others, and we are seeing some very familiar stocks still on the most active list. We're going to cover the news and the fundamentals, the charts and the technicals, uncover the next incoming trends for these stocks, and I'll show you how you could have caught every single one of these stocks for a massive bull run ahead. Let me know in the comments below if you are holding in on any of these plays right now, and make sure that you do get over to the Baker Web Billy Discourse. You can get all of these alerts on time. Got into some trades this morning, locked in those easy games for the early bird specials, guys. It's the same setup, the same strategy every single trade, buying low and selling high. Let's get right into it, though. Whip and for a massive P market move, going for the lows of that six cents all the way to this 13 cents and it's still holding up very strong something that you should know that nbos is starting to have that it's starting to push it towards overbought so it's starting to have that bearish momentum shift that's coming in it's getting ready to create that bearish divergence you're looking to see if this pressure is going to change you can see a lot more detail in between if you look at your analysis order flow so you can see if you got more largest coming in or more largest going out when the largest start going out of this stock more gonna watch this stock start to dive down more and fast okay you can keep on refreshing and updating your order flow to see as this moves and so on and so forth right now we got more mediums largest coming in and we got more smalls coming in we got the large scale million dollar usd orders that are loading up on nvos stock and a lot of people are still holding this stock up expecting this stock to up trend throughout the day that's those day traders who haven't sold this thing off yet and of course a lot of them in there are going to be swing traders going for that longer term move and long-term investors talking about holding in for the years and years and whatnot right now we got average driving 4.81 million that's up to 115 million this is stupendous volume to come in over that average volume if you were looking to the bank of wibbly discord for all of the alerts to catch in on nbos stock on time then you would have been able to see when the analysts were when the analysts and the coaches were in the discord throwing out alerts for nbos talking about not to mess out on this easy money letting us know how this stock was getting ready to come in for the easy move guys letting us know when this stock is going parabolic and you can see the news that's been coming out talking about how nv uh, novo integrated sciences and farm seven group announced a joint venture for canyon cooperative agriculture project guys news enough to give that stock that next leg up and of course stocks rock man was letting us know about um nvos stock over in his section yesterday as well letting us know what stocks we should be watching out on it's easy money if you already know what you're going for and i tell you guys very often to be looking for the volume ticker if you see volume ticker picking up a stock then that stock is getting ready to make that next hot move let me know if you caught nvos stock and great job manson manson is one of the bank of Whitbilly discord coaches throwing out these hot plays all day every single day helping us get that easy money and making sure we can all move carefully and accordingly one of my favorite sections to follow along with is the quick trade section he throws out all kinds of plays. You know, like I say, do your study into the sections and whatnot. Uh, the, the more you understand about what you're looking at and what you got going on, the easier it is, of course. You know? And don't mind me if I ease off to check out the portfolio. Holding in on some plays right now. Looking for the big bull run. I'm also in on GNS stock that is getting ready to explode. We'll talk more about that here in a second and what the price targets are. Um, GNS is on his list, but I'll go ahead and show you guys because it's coming in for a bull run. You need to be aware of this. If you never know what to go for, just follow along in my section. I'll let you know exactly what's going on with these stocks, what we're going for, if it's a risky move, if it's safe, if we're going to be holding on for a longer term, all that good stuff like that. And I even give the reference to which section the alert came out in. I updated us with the harmonic bot um, that is throwing out same thing. These home run plays, guys, making sure that it's easy for us to get that money. Um, see the charts where you can see the price target. First targets when I write out throwing out some QQQs and spies. Coincidentally, um, uh, because I've been going for QQQs and spies a whole lot lately and whatnot. But we'll talk more about all of that here in a second, guys. Right now, NVOS on its uptrend. Be looking for this stock to start to get that selling pressure because it's overbought and day traders. Right now, all the day traders still holding up. Some of those day traders are going to be to run gangs. You just got to be paired, okay? Next, we got T2 stock. T2 Bios has been coming in as that is the stock market's most favorite stock. This stock has been coming in for hot rounds of bullishness as a multi week runner pushing up the new heights right now up to the heights of what's that about 48 almost 50 cents right now t2 stock getting ready to push back up towards that dollar if you're looking for a safe climb up t2 stock is the one to go for right now looking back at the daily chart though you got to understand this stock is touching up a bar. every time it does it takes a quick dip down now that quick dip doesn't push it all the way back down to those major lows those lows are that five cents where i was letting you guys know about t2 stock back in the safe easy early seat 
but it'll take a quick dip down and test the resistance and whatnot so on and so far you can see some more information and detail about it in the four hour chart where you see when it becomes over bought and takes that dip look it'll take that dip back down to that 24 cents you can see it started building support around that 24 cents for a few days before taking that next leg up the rsi will push back down towards the middle and i tell you guys the um the middle on the rsi is a more cautionary position and if it does that you're still looking for just a momentum shift to come in on your MACD indicator, letting you know it's about to take another run up. And of course, if you look back at a 15 minute chart, you'll be able to see where it actually did touch down towards the soles, where you wanted to load that thing up. For that next leg up, like I said, if you don't if you don't see it on time, then you know just hold off for a while, go for the next thing. But that was a big dip down there. Where you see those spikes, like that big wick that got created. Those big wick people love to see that because it gives them a sign that that's going to be a strong key level right there. We're now with an average volume of 90 million. Current volume of 116 million. Um, volume is outdoing the average volume. It can come in with more average, but with more volume. We've seen Z2 come in with more volume. It's something that you long-term investors need to understand that their balance sheet doesn't look too good. Now, um, this uh, this might be updated on your platform. I don't know. I don't know when it updates on Weibo. Okay, but we're looking forward to the next update, and we do know that T2 has upcoming catalysts. Talking about their latest products and stuff like that, and we're waiting for their products to get um, finalized. They've been talking about how T2 stock. Um and rap stock are the new meme stocks. T2 stock has definitely been getting picked up by the meme rallies and it's holding strong with a very strong bullish sentiment. Um, while the company has been very wrecked. Understand that it has getting a very strong bullish sentiment, which is changing things. When this stock get up to that dollar, those the you know the, the bigger whales, they're gonna feel more confident on this thing. And you can see if the big whales and large scales are buying in, we're looking at your order flow. Because right now we got more largest going out. We got more mediums going out and we got more smalls coming in with large scale million dollar USD orders locking in gains up to this stock and or shining away from the stock day after day. But I'll show you some of that T2 when the bank of Web Billy Discord. You can go ahead and see how you could have caught this stock on time. Fun along with all the alerts. If you would have seen the alerts on time. And um I'll talk about T2 stock yesterday as well. I've made a T2 stock video the other day, letting you guys know T2 stock is about to continue that uptrend. And of course, like I say, here we go right here. You got you got the the coaches and whatnot all throwing out alerts for T2 stock, talking about getting into the stock for that bull run. Great job, Manson, and great job, Crawford, throwing out the hot alerts for T2 stock. Now, this the T2 stock, when they do come out with their next piece of news, man, it's coming for a big bull. We're going to go look at their short interest one out here in a second. Like I say, easy alerts I've been going out to follow along with. And not just today, we're like, we've caught multi T2 stock. And I told you guys that I was making a video on the stock two days ago, letting you know. T2 stock, this is the new price target. T2 stock, we're back in compliance. They, um, they, they, they're about to do this. Be looking forward to that and what the expectations are because of when they get the final, what right now they're working on. So they got, I don't remember exactly what the product was, but you know, like you, T2, they make these kits, these like test kits and stuff like that, um, blood tests and all that good stuff. Um, so they got one thing that's in the finalizations, getting their final testing over at one of their collabs. And when that comes through, and they finally get that FDA approval. Needless to say, this stock is going to explode. T2 stock is working its way back up to compliance. See all the videos in time. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. And make sure that you share this video somewhere. If that can change lives, we will talk a little bit more about the RSI and the MACD and how to compare that to other indicators here in a second. But first, we got WE. That's WeWork that went down to this dip. If you were trading in on WeWork, you would have been able to catch a big bull run the other day um, when this stock went from $0.12 cents up to $0.32. Cents. And then even the other day where it went from this 17 cents up to the highs of that 27 cents easy bull runs and this slow today would be mine for everything going on with this stock and all of the stocks in the market is wild the markets are pushing up more bearish than bullish guys and i was telling you guys in my in the recent videos yesterday that the markets were pushing up all red and bearish and be expected for things to continue a downtrend and because i've been covering the spy and stuff like that watching the overall conditions trying to see which way that things are headed and so on and so forth and if you want to um learn in the spy trading strategies along with me then you can go ahead and yeah, join the big will believe this i'm throwing out these spy and qqq alerts now um other coaches and um analysts and bots are as well i like to use the options for for the spies and the qqqs and make sure that you do check out gns i'll show you that here in a minute but check this out so how will we know that the market's about to begin ready to push up bearish so so bearish for the last few days so i've been like i've been showing you guys every single video why i started to study the spies because it gives us a better idea and indication of how things are going and what's about to happen so you would have been able to see spies 1.8 million big puts huge puts betting this thing down with expiration dates um into 9 15 you want to see some more watch this 
Spies, big puts, huge puts going out. All across the board, I'll show you a little bit more. And I was letting you guys know, spies, puts, the weekly puts. Now, a quick bull run for the spies, because right now the markets are bearish. And I'm going to show you all of that here in a second. Bear with me here. So, even Harmonics is picking up spies. Talking about spies, about to take a quick uptrend on the daily. We're about to be um, looking for the markets to continue to push down red for quite a, for, for just a bit. When I go to show you how this, the overall settings at the spies are in right now, you're going to see how overbought this is. Now, I use the Bank of Wobbly Discord for my due diligence for every single stock. But we can see even more spy puts going out. I specifically like to use the options for um, the options for for my spy and my QQQ trading. Um, these are quick expiration dates like right now it's 8 15 it didn't throw out any alerts yet and that's what i'm sitting here waiting for for it to throw out today's alert i would have i was i'm already judging out the overall conditions that spies about to um go in and i'm about to show you here in a minute how you can yourself just by going off the chart because you know it's the same thing oversold turns and overbought now overbought turns back in over so depending on what time frame you like to trade on and understand that if it's a if it's a, a bigger stock like you know like the blue chip that some people like to go for longer moves and some people do invest for the fundamentals, talking about holding into stocks for years and years and generations and whatnot. A lot of people don't consider this in their trading strategies in a day-to-day -day, um trades and whatnot because of a lot of people only thinking, let me get this money here, let me get those quick dollars there, so on and so forth. But you gotta take a second to compare what you got going on to the other guys, those long-term investors, those swing traders, and then think about that with those other day traders who, who who might be trading with a little bit of less or even a little bit of more capital, so on and so forth. But I use the options for for the quick trades, expirations on the same date. Like I said, I'm waiting for that next one to go out right now. And when it does put out that next hot alert for it today, if I do catch it in time, because it can put out that alert right now while I'm making this video, and then I completely miss out on But but like in great gains off the spies and the QQQs. It's easy money. We know what you're going for. And we've been seeing, you see all these spy puts that's going out. We've been seeing a lot of these. I'm about to show you a little bit more. Watch this. As we go down, we'll be able to see how Big Whale's got tons of spy and QQQ puts um, building up to almost $1.6 in total on straight puts for spies and QQQs. Because they are betting the market down. You make money on both sides of the market. I can show you all across the board. Like last week where we've been seeing nothing but large puts and big wells getting these puts and so on and so forth. And of course, you're trying to get easy money in these spies and um, QQQ. With Billy Discord, not only will you be able to follow along in some of those options and uh, analysts and bottle alerts like I was just showing you guys, but you'll also be able to follow along in my alerts. I'm throwing out the spies and the QQQs as well. Um, there's other options. I recommend that you diversify your skill set. So not only will you better get my options, I'm throwing out my swing trades and my day trades in my section. I make it easy. Buying low and selling high. Try to, you know, we're going to stick to the same strategy. You want to create a natural consistency, I recommend it. Just sticking to the same strategy until you, at least until you've mastered that or gotten to whatever your goals is and got that extra capital. Because until you get that extra capital to trade with, then you know how those emotions are. You trying to hold on to this and hold on to that, and you want to take things slow and so on and so forth. And nothing's wrong with taking things slow. You gotta pace yourself. But when you get more, when you start getting more wins and stuff like that, then you start getting, um, you know, the extra capital and so on and so forth. And then you start to go for what you like to look at, so on and so forth. And then it's going to be easy for you to say, okay, I'm going to go for this. I've done this off of that chart, off of this time frame, off, off of this strategy a thousand times. And I, 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 I'm I, going to do the same exact thing again because, again, this is the same setup of the same strategy every single trade. Nothing changes. I mean, unless you're one of those guys that are, um, I don't know, maybe you short selling now. And if you, um, it would be good for you to start trading. Like if you've been trading with me for the last few years and uh, following along with these alerts and seeing these videos, You've already mastered swing trading and day trading. You're probably moving on to the options now. And short selling is the same. Uh, just to it's the same thing, just the complete opposite. <laughs> you look, literally, you look right now while this stock is overbought, you're looking to go for a short position until it goes back down to the result. When the downer was over so we're looking to go for a long position until it becomes overbought. And then locking those gains. Next, we got DC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So DC. Oh, yeah, let's go look at those spies. I'm like, I know I'm forgetting something right here. So, yeah, spies. Like I said, I'll show you how to judge this out and watch this. Not on your four hours, not just on your daily. We do see the daily pushing down to the result, but watch this on the week for those longer term time frames. So, we're bought, right? Getting ready to downtrend. You see that yellow might be line crossing under that boots in the line, getting ready to create that bearish divergence, that RSI we're bought, getting ready to push back down into range. You'll start seeing the, so you'll start seeing it's a stop short around that, uh, around the middle. Look at this. 
Now they like to stop around that middle one. Right, you know what to do now. If you see it stopping down that middle one, your bigger time frame, you hone it on that smaller time frame. Right now, while the thing is still overbought on that weekly chart, it's pushing down towards the middle on that RSI, towards that over. So now you want to be careful here. This is why I'm showing you this. So I'm going to show you they're getting massive puts and whatnot because they are betting this thing down. They're talking about puts down to, they're talking about puts down to that 426, 420 something. It does push down towards those ranges. The RSI is gonna go back down towards that middle. Like I'll be telling you guys. And then we're we'll watching that thing on the daily for a big market reversal. Now, again, you know, I'm still learning in on the spy and QQQs. And in fact, I'm still learning everything. So if you got anything that you can teach me or anything you can update me on, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Let's continue on. Where are we at? We were at the DCTH. I didn't catch this. I didn't catch this. This is a massive uptrend coming in on today. This thing gapped up. Huge gap. Let me see. Huge gap, man. Oh, that was that pre-market move is what it was. Going from $2 all the way up to that $7.74. What they had, the FDA approval, Delta Kurt surges on the FDA approval for the cancer treatment. You know, they were talking about this in the Discord earlier on. With the average volume of 162000 that current volume getting up to $50 million right now. Um, Those therapeutic stocks and stuff like that, you know, they be kind of iffy because of, yeah, they got the FDA, they got that cool FDA news now and whatnot, but things take a downtrend. Things take a downtrend real fast. You know, you got to just look out for stuff like that. CD alerts in the core are going out. Um, if you know a stuff as well, let me know. You guys can hook yourself to the chat GPT section. Ask questions to ask. Um, hook yourself to the side hook section where everybody posts about different businesses and so on and so forth. Um, all that good stuff, man. Make sure you make make some extra capital on the side. And, of course, help yourself to the profit section. So you'll be able to see where everybody is in those games in left and right. Bank makes money off a million plays in a million ways. Master your trading strategy. And understand that you don't have to catch all the plays at the time. And you see people catching the explosive plays around you and stuff like that. Um, don't feel don't feel bad about locking in some games early, because like I say, you want a small target and you feel like you're still learning it or Maybe you're not, maybe you know everything. Maybe you already feel like you know everything. You're not really learning too much more, but you're still just trying to become comfortable with um proper market mannerisms and overall trading strategy. Use your tolerance levels as your guidelines. The tolerance levels will keep you positive and they'll the positive the, those tolerance levels they'll help you lock in those gains when 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 they start to go too low or get too high because you start getting a little bit nervous. The heart start beating too fast and stuff like that. You know, it's just time to lock those gains down real quick. And you're ready for that next thing because of they are going to sell that thing off on you real fast. There's no, there's no question about it. Those day traders are about to lock that in. Now you're hoping that that RSI stops short on that 15 minute chart, and then and, and swing traders still want to hold that thing. When it comes down to loading up something with the day traders, you got to really expect for day traders to be getting ready to lock that in a little rather. I mean, day traders want to lock it in immediately. You know, um, fundamental come in and like the overall market sentiment and what the what the what the investment sentiment is for that stock because the stocks can be completely wrecked. Fundamentally, no, no chance. Bad balance sheets and all, and then they'll still come in for a massive percent with a big rally of the day traders and whatnot. Um, I skipped over this. W E Weco come out with a what's that the upcoming IPO? I don't mess with the IPOs too much. Um, uh, you know when those IPOs come out, they do have that super big, huge, hot explosion and stuff like that, and they got a, a lot of attention at, at first. But then they go back down to like the, the hundreds of thousands in volume because nobody wants to touch them no more. And people like to wait off a long time to see where a uh, stock is gonna find its grounds and so on and so forth. S L A back with Tesla guys, Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. So, so still continue to that damn. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I I've been making actually we've been making Tesla videos every single day as Tesla has actually remained on the top of the most active list pretty much all year. Very impressive by them. But remember we made our most one of our most recent Tesla videos talking about how they reached those heights at three hundred. I was letting you guys know that this tech is over bought. This is about to start seeing heavy heavy resistance as the markets are about to start getting bearish. And I was pointing out to you guys around said time about how the spies. We're also pushing up towards that overbought and getting ready to take that downtrend. You can see a pattern here right now. Let me go show you, and show you that again real quick. Go ahead and look at that, how you just saw that looking down those spies. And then we're going back to look at Tesla right now, how Tesla is looking, of course, at these major heights. And, you know, people going for Tesla for long-term investments and whatnot. Talking about holding in for the years and years and the generations and so on and so forth. They needless to say, Tesla is probably the leader in the EV, in the EV sectors right now. But look at Tesla on a weekly chart. Watch this. Same thing. 
we be able to see. Like, I'm trying to point out to you guys how to navigate, man. You see how it's overbought right there, and it's downtrend on that weekly. Same thing as the spies, rather pretty much like in this direction as the spies, which is um kind of crazy coincidental. I didn't even notice that they matched up that hard, <laughs> but um yeah, you know, like you want to follow along in that, and I I've been noticing all of that because I'm um making Tesla video most of this pretty much every single day. And along in the trends and whatnot, and of course, you know, like I said, when the stock go overbought, you know, they're gonna start selling that thing off no matter what. You, you just make sure that you understand your goals and your role. We all got different goals and different roles. We all got different targets. Some of us going, some of us, uh, some of us do it for a living. Some of us just trying to save up in a portfolio. Some of us, what our goals are. First step for you, if you are one of those people who still try to figure out your goals, I'm letting you know. That's your first step is to figure out what your goals are, man. You figure out your goals, then it'll help you. Um, understand and decide what role you should be taking within that stock. Maybe it's a day trade or a swing trade, or maybe it's a longer swing, and you know you're gonna have to hold on for 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 for, for a couple of weeks and so on and so forth. Now, nothing's wrong with that. Like I say, some some swings take longer than others, and some swings will like they'll they won't explode for a couple of days and they have an instant explosion. But then there are some plays that'll just continuously climb up, steady, steady, very steady at the value, or not uh, high, high to 50s, hundreds, thousands of percent over time because if some people do continue to hold as the day traders sell off and they're not looking back into the next round, as a swing trader sell off, we go into that next thing, not looking back until until the next round in that stock. Um, some people continue to just hold that thing up despite all the uncertainty that goes in. Some people got the extra capital. Some people are a little bit bold and a little bit brave. But needless to say, you got to be, you got to have some intuition and you definitely got to be, you have to got to be brave. You got to be bold to take take the plays. You know, the second that we get into play, we already thinking, okay, this does it. It's all it's all the all the markets are risky. Anything can change with the market. The market. Hopefully, the, hopefully this one I'm going for doesn't be one of those decliners. We, we 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 you know I know how it goes. We all done been there. We all done felt that and whatnot. Like I say, it takes a little bit of confidence. It takes some intuition. You've been able to see Tesla alerts coming out. Tesla news coming out. And overall, like I've been trying to show you guys about how Tesla stock has been coming out with the alerts talking about. I just showed you guys this, the, the, these um, what the trader flow is looking like, talking about how and we've, I'm going to show you a lot of these right now, actually, because there's been a lot of this going out. Same as there's been a lot of spike puts going out. Right now, there's a lot of puts that have just been building up for major, major downtrends. And we can see even more of those massive puts coming into Tesla stock even just yesterday. Man, look at this test of 2.6 million weekly puts. Strike 240, expiration 818. Look at this one. And that was just about an hour before yesterday. And, and this one is even way bigger now. This is almost 10 times bigger now, which is crazy, man. And when you see all these massive puts going out, you have your indication of which direction things are about to go. And you need to use your options chain. That's what this is why that we at the Bank of Billy Discord decided to start getting into the options because they help you see the next direction on that stock. They help you judge out the next direction on the market. I use the Bank of Billy Discord for my due diligence. Literally, every single stock I really look up at, everything I show you guys in the videos, everything that I do and everything I look up, there's no, there is no, there is no secret technique here. There is no secret scanner there. No, 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 you know, no, 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 no hidden method or no, or no sudden jutsu here. Yeah, it's all plain and simple. It's not rocket science. It really just comes down to becoming comfortable with what you have going on and understand this. We are have different things going on we all got our own different sets of emotions that make us feel like this or make us feel like that some of us see a stock doing this and we've come through a whole on you see all these tests to put some showing you out in the bank of Wibbly discord see those on time you would have been able to get that easy money in tsla on time and of course i've been making tested videos like i said they've been at the most active list as the most active stock getting a lot of attention going long going short getting puts getting calls we even made some easy money off of tsla we remember when tesla go down to the lows of that hundred dollars we went in for Tesla for a quick bull run, sold out way too early, of course, as usual. And that's how it goes. And don't feel too bad or too nervous about selling out of a stock too early or whatever, anything you got going on. Because there's always a bull run somewhere. And your whole entire goal is to make sure you're locking in gains safely and consistently. I'll show you even more puts that are going on Tesla stock right now so you can understand. Well, you would have seen these puts on time with the strikes on Tesla down for the highs of that. $300. Now, I do believe that Tesla is going to break that $300. It's the whole it's, it, it's, it's the whole market um, sentiment that's changing right now. I just showed you that the spies and the index is all starting to go all bearish and all that good stuff like that. Like, watch this. I'm going to show you all the overall market conditions because you got to keep an eye 
on the overall market conditions. We need to see what's going on on time. Um, because of when you like when we are in our plays and stuff, as a stock is doing this, a uh, stock is doing that, and we're like, why is this stock doing this? How, 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 how can this be? Well, if you go to your overall market conditions, then you'll be able to see if things are pushing up more bullish or bearish overall. And on a day like this, where you got about five thousand decliners and about one thousand advancers, well, that explains it. You know, maybe one of your stocks is one of those. Thousand decliners. Now, overbought does turn oversold, but that oversold always turns back into overbought. So a little bit bearish this week, but we'll be expecting to see the markets turn back bullish for a um, big hot reversal. Here's something right here. The T2 stock just made its way to the top of the most active list and is about to continue to push up over that 50 cents and going on to that dollar. Load the dip. If I show you this on the one minute chart real quick, you'll be able to see how it is pushing down to the oversold and then not loading it just yet because it just pushed all the way back down to oversold. When it does, big bull run ahead, all that good stuff. And I O oh, the Neo, 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 another one that started that downtrend like we're going to weekly. Same thing as Tesla, and same thing got the spies. In fact, you know you can see a lot of stocks that have been kind of slowing down on the weeklies. Look at this, a lot of a lot of stocks like stocks that have been on that uptrend um, for a while have been slowing down the weeklies. And Neo, Sophie, and Pioneer all kind of stick together. So we're looking to see if those things were close by it. They got to be close by. Look at Pioneer right here. Sophie got to be somewhere nearby. Sophie got it. Sophie ain't nowhere nearby up here right now. Usually, so here we go. Sophie right here. As a Sophie, Palantir, and Neo, they all kind of stick close together for some reason. It's crazy if nobody ever noticed that before. But Neo, man, downtrend. Not only back down over so they're going to push this thing back down to the lows around that $10 before they push, before they buy this thing back up. And of course, it does come down to timing the overall market direction because you look on a daily chart. Man, there ain't no bullish momentum shift coming in there just yet. So you want to just hold off just a bit. Unless you really antsy and whatnot. Like I tell you guys, if you are really antsy, you just can't help yourself for some reason. Then go for a smaller position and a smaller target. Um, You really want to see this weekly chart touch down towards the middle on that RSI. And then start to watch the moment of change on that daily chart. But the average volume is 65 million. Current volume right now, only half of that at 30 million. Oh, they order for. They got some larges coming in. They got more mediums coming in. Our smalls going out kind of strong on EO stock right now. Be keeping an eye on this stock. We got the large coming. I mean, I want to see what's going on. Of course, you already know we're gonna go to the Discord and see all kinds of puts that are going out from EO stock right now. But uh, you would have been able to. And I'll we'll go back around towards like eight four. Go back a page or two. It just, just, just you can be able to have a better understanding on exactly how to follow along in different alerts for different stocks. And have a better idea of what to be looking forward to next for all of these stocks comparing them all like i just showed you every single one of these stocks making that move and you would have seen the previous videos on time we we're talking about these stocks they've been on the most times and you would remember see and like i just said neo puts i didn't even need to come here to know that they were coming out with neo puts and and i'm gonna show you a lot more look oh harmonic pattern picking this up look at this i love it I, I, i'm loving a harmonic bot man it's so, so, so very accurate. I'll show you a little bit more about the harmonic bot right here. I think I just did, and I was showing the QQQs and some spies. And what's that Disney is talking about right now? DIS going from with a price target. I like to see this projected price target. So, you know, you'll be able to see. And then it gives you a, a chart down there, letting you know that this stock is at those lows and getting ready to make that big move and so on and so forth. And um, it even also gives you that stop loss at the bottom, help, help, helping guys, helping, helping to guide us along. But easy money. Like I say, you see it's a daily chart or if it's a weekly chart. You know if it's a weekly chart, it's going to be a little bit longer move. What's this Bitcoin? Big, Bitcoin of 44K. What's the Bitcoin at right now anyways? About 30K. That's a massive uptrend that's about to come in. This is where I got um, GNS from. That's why I was scrolling up to see if I see GNS somewhere here. Somewhere here. But you do your due diligence as well. Come through and see what it's looking like. Again, harmonic patterns make it very, very easy. When it's literally giving you the actual price target and so on and so forth for a bull run. Here goes some GNS right here for the early alerts. But let's continue on, man. Neo stock. Should have seen those. Oh, yeah. We got some more Neos to look at down here down this list. Watch this. Neo stock. Neo. Scrolling down so we can see even more. Neo. Neo. More, more calls. Right now, we see where they came out with some calls. Back when around 8, 9. Massive calls. Got some big puts going out. I like to follow along and... um. So something about these options alerts. Some some people use the op like we you you we we get the trades from the options alerts as well. But you want to learn how to judge out the markets and trends and stuff like that using the options alerts. That's what I'm showing you guys all these puts alerts have been going out because you would have seen all those puts alerts that were coming out earlier on. Then you would have known that Neo stock was getting ready to take that next downtrend. 
And like I said, you want to see things in time. And if you do your due diligence to study a little bit more on how to fall, on how to on how to read and 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 uh, move off the um options alerts, then you'd be a lot better with your time and, and all that stuff like that to answer in all these plays. I say the money you know what you're going for. Knowledge is power, man. You're knowing is only half the battle. You want to know when the stock is about to come in for a bull run. You want to know if the stock is risky, you're about to take a downtrend. You want to know when NBDA is getting ready to take that uptrend from the lows of that. For $103 just yesterday. And if I show you back on a four hour chart, you'll be able to see how they are holding up very strong from that 403 to the highs of that 457. And I'll show you when the Bank of Wibbly Discord, how you could have caught NVDA stock on time. You're following along with everything that is going on. Coming out with some puts now. And they came out with some news earlier on today. What's this? NVIDIA gets a big upgrade as UBS expects the AI surge to continue. And of course, they finna hold NVIDIA up strong. We're getting into yesterday. We can see how NVIDIA was coming in with the most bullish flow. I'll be telling you guys very, very often, if you see the volume ticker picking up a stock, that stock is getting ready to make that next high move. And here we go, the volume ticker, talking about NVDA stock, getting ready to make that big bull run ahead. We even got a little bit more talking about how the NVD big time October call sweeps being sold and bought back up. When you see that these calls are coming in, easy money. If you would have seen yesterday how NVDA stock is coming in with millions worth of call sweeps. Just that's like the, the next direction on these things. See on time. And for you still, you can go on all the time. still extremely bearish about five decliners. And you're like, oh, whoa. And then you were so, you, you, you was paying so much attention staring at that stock chart. You you wasn't, you didn't even wait for a second to see that the market conditions were all pushing up red. Now, of course, right now, where they are pushing up so extremely um, bearish, we're going to be seeing a big market reversal where they turn extremely bullish with our four or 5,000 advancers. And you want to take full advantage of those stocks on discounts right now so you don't miss out on those big bull runs ahead. Next, we got the GMVD that's coming in for about a, ooh, look at this. This stock came in for a massive move up. It's at 22 cents right now. It opened up and pushed up to 35 cents. Big downtrend. Not really expecting the GM, GMVD clear up too much right now today. This place is already a high value. More volume can come in. I don't stop anything, but, but I'm going based off of these. You know, I go based off my indicators. My indicators tell the whole story why this stock is up there towards the robot. You can see a clear downtrend coming in. Now, I probably want to sell off too much more than this 20 because you know they're going to want to hold it up over this 20 cents. Let me show you what you should be looking for as far as GMVD to have this momentum shift that's coming in. Look on you. You're going to be watching your 15 minute chart if you are looking at this thing right now through the intraday. You're going to be looking for the momentum shift to come out in MACD and then the other MACD line finally start the curve and get over that with the similar line. And when it does that, that's if you're talking about the risky day trade and look at your 15 minute chart, you know, it might be a, a couple 15 minutes for that stock to really push back up towards the overbought. Quicker on your, um, quick, quick, quicker on your, um, what's it called? Your, um, your one minute charts and whatnot. What was that? GMDA stock. Easy money, man. Oh, GMVD. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, where do you? Yeah, go back here. Yeah. Also, GMDA stock. You see value picking up GMDA right now. Uh, we might as well talk about GMDA for a second too. After we go ahead and check out GMVD, but we definitely finna go look at GMDA here in a second. GMVD stock. We also gotta go check out GNS as well. I remember, but of course, easy alerts. We'll have to see it on time. Let us know about um about GMVD getting ready to have that breakout, all that stuff like that. And um take your like I said, take your time. If you don't see an alert on time, then just don't go for it. You know, we see every single play in the entire market that explodes that gets alerted out the bank will be discarding. You can't catch them all, man. You're just gonna get what you can while you can be ready to move on to the next thing, be comfortable with what you have going on, so that, so that way you don't do too much if you're not comfortable with what you have going on not only not only the markets in life too if you're not comfortable with what you have going on then you and you find yourself doing too much trying to figure out how to become comfortable with whatever you actually do have going on take your time and if you need a little bit more time to study and stuff like that take a step back from the markets you know and then just go ahead and sit back and study so use use these stocks as study materials so you don't so you don't get caught in any bad situations, okay? But these are the most active stocks on the market. We see T2, NVOS, and DCTH are still moving very fast. Let me know if you guys caught any of these. And if you know a stock is about to explode next, um, don't miss out on the easy money. Um, get to the Discord so you can get all these alerts on time. I'll see you guys in there. And happy trade.